Welcome back to Bumper to Bumper uh, with what me, was Rick. That? Whoa, Whoa you're there? what was this? What was this? I thought it was just me. No, I'm on the call too. What was that entrance? Hello, I'm Rick Darge, and welcome back to Bumper to Bumper. Can I get you a glass of? Did you made pa- no, Chris, you made pasta last night? You made pasta. How was it? I made pasta last night. Um, it was extremely delicious. My my grandpa, who was on the podcast yeah. back in December, um, he sent me a cavatelli maker and uh oh that's right you told me yeah Yeah. you had some you can't you know what was funny was i've never made this before it's like a our family dish that we've had my entire life and my grandpa had it when he was a kid um cavatellis are like a bow tie short pasta and it's made of like a one part cheese and four parts flour um, no eggs, nothing like that, and they're delicious. And you make a bolognese sauce with them. Typically, you serve it with like a broccoli sauce, but my family does it with a bolognese sauce. Uh, three and a half hour, four hours it took to make the sauce. That's and all, wow, uh, you know it's funny. I went back and I wanted to. I didn't. I, this is the first time I've ever made them, and I recorded my grandpa uh, during Christmas week with my GoPro uh, hour long video of him making showing it. making it and then you come over in the video and you're coming over for dinner and it was like so funny what and it reminded me of do you remember that you i remember by. coming over yeah yeah because we we did yeah. hit, we did the podcast that day and then uh he was we talking a, about um, it that's right we, we did a non-meat bolognese sauce for just for chris candy isn't this just such and a nice wholesome start to bumper to this bumper? is a real nice it's monday it's you monday know, I, it's it's a relaxing we're in covid we're in COVID the covid time land. still um, I hate they're COVID talking so much. They're talking so about, sick of this COVID they're shit. They're going to slowly start Tired opening up stuff. Tired of losing my what? mind. Are you okay? What are they going to open up? What are they going to open up? I don't know, but you, did you hear the same thing that I heard today on the news? Um, no, I don't watch the news anymore. No, no, no. I, tomorrow, today, whenever you're listening to it, I guess Newsom's going to come on and start talking about... Who cares? About, yeah. What? Wait, no. I mean, who cares about the time? We're in the vortex. We're trying something else out. But we're in the, the vortex. <laughs> but Newsom's coming we're on. We're kind of I, in a 12-hour... Wait, tell me. I'm so sorry. Go back. I'm trying to drop some hot news on you, okay? What did Newsom say? Hot news. Uh, he said that Wait, what? It, what is, did he... Hold on, hold on. Wait, what, are you, are what you, did he say? They are... What? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> they found out that... They found, um, they found a treasured box at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. And you know, oh, when they opened it up, they found fucking nine cans of fucking Red Bull because it's fucking gold. <laughs> <Fuck> <laughs> That's you. what they fucking found, motherfucker. Um, what did they find? What they, is Newsom no, going to say? They're saying they're going to they're gonna lay out a plan because California uh, is doing really well. They're going to begin to lay out a plan to open up certain businesses. But from what I'm hearing, that's not going to happen in the next couple of weeks. I think the deadlines and, and the lock-ins that we have, May 15th, yeah. makes sense. But um, it's going to be slow. You know, they got to open them up eventually. But, uh, you know, I, I will say... California's done a really good job. I think that that's what it, the, the the truth is. Like the fraction of uh, cases that we have in comparison to New York City is crazy. It's like three to every. I think the number is ten thousand people will get oh COVID here, and then uh, Chris. Yeah, I just got a text message from. Uh, did you get this Amber alert? No. I just got an Amber alert from yeah, Gavin Newsom. There's sometimes it says a delay. that. Yeah, it's weird. It says that, yeah, they are going to be reopening businesses, but Chris Candy will never be allowed to leave his tiny little studio. He's never coming out. What? You're not allowed to leave. What? Yeah, he, what? I, you, Th- no, you just th- got the Amber notice. This didn't come in to me. Uh, wh- You're what? never coming out. I, You're never coming out. I, I want to go out, though. I want to go out more than all the people. I deserve nope. to be uh, out. No, Did you get the Amber notice yet? No, it hasn't come. Is it, wait, it's called an Amber notice, right? It's called an Amber alert, and... Oh, there it is. Um, oh, Jesus. You got it, huh? Oh, fuck. Well, yeah. what, what do you want me to do? Well, you got to stay in for who knows how long. Oh, my God. Could be a lifetime. No, there's a there's a caveat underneath this, though. Did you read? Did you oh. scroll down a little bit? It says, no, no, no. I, didn't, I missed it. Yeah, it says all the way at the bottom there. It says, Rick okay, Darge is no down. longer allowed to go out either because he smells oh, like shit. Hold on shit. one second. Oh, I'm so sorry. Rick um, smells like it. shit. You Chris, I'm up. getting a phone call. Fine, grab hold it. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold God, on. why are you getting phone calls during our show? Sorry. I don't put my phone on uh, silent. I thought we, were doing, thought we were doing a podcast. 
Hello? Yeah, hi. Um, this is Lauren calling from Yoga Works. Um, can I speak with Rick Hurd? Uh, yeah, that's Rick, um, not Rick Hurd. Um, yeah, this is yoga Rick. Yoga Works. I didn't know you go to Yoga Works. Um, hi, Rick. Um, I do. We just noticed um, that you haven't been coming to class lately, and um, you didn't respond to all the emails mm. that we've been sending you lately. Um, and we just wanted to see uh, if you were interested in buying like, a class package or something. Hey, um you guys are non-essential you're supposed to be shut down like every other gym and fitness facility in california so yeah, that's true well, that's why i haven't been well, coming because we've been ordered to stay inside i'm i'm making you know craft crafts with my toenails right now that's how bored i am well since self-care is so important um we deemed ourselves essential to stay open because, as you know, this is a really stressful time. It is stressful. And, you know, everybody needs to stay <clears throat> calm and, like, needs to get their utanasanas in. Mm -hmm. And um, we just want to let you know that we're sanitizing everything with, like, organic cleaner, oh. like lemon juice and alkaline water. So it's, like, completely safe. Nothing to worry about. Wait, are you limiting the amount of people in your class? Because last time I was there, you know, we'd up cram in 35 people in a tiny space. I'm not comfortable being around anyone that could have the COVID. I mean, we don't want to cramp anybody's experience, um, but we do welcome all. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're offering a package deal. So it's like you get a package of classes and then you can sell them to your friends what? so like for every what? friend that you um sell a class package to you get a percentage of that like a pyramid then, scheme like wait a sec you those people sell classes this to is their friends Chris, and then Rick, you make a percentage what, of Chris? all of that that's, that's so a like pyramid scheme spreading the wealth of yeah, that's yoga. A, that's a pyramid yeah that, that sounds like a pyramid scheme i'm surprised that you're offering you know i don't feel comfortable doing I yoga get off right the, now yeah like, i get off the yeah phone. i don't I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not going to be going to class anytime soon. I've been eating a lot of carbs, and I'm accepting the roundness of my new body right now. So I don't that's really good. need your namaste bullshit yeah. in my ear anymore. That just sounds like pretty negative. How about you pay um, me to come to your you class? If you yoga, you would really have more positivity in your hey, life. Hey, you know what's negative like, is judging yeah, my life. If I want to do crafts with my toenails and get round by eating pasta, that's my prerogative, lady, okay? So namaste whoa, yourself to whoa, the hospital okay. bed because it sounds like you're itching to get some COVID. Well, um... This lady doesn't get it. No, she doesn't get it. Um, would you... We also can um, inscribe your yoga mat with uh, your name in Sanskrit. If you're no, interested. thanks. I don't want it. That's um, namaste. I don't want that shit. Namaste? Yes, namaste. It's namanasty. <laughs> That's manasty. I got to go, sorry, lady. I know. Like, I, I don't want yoga. No, thanks. I would love... Is there anybody You're interrupting my podcast. To, um, yeah, get yeah, her there's off. My buddy you know Chris. There's my buddy Chris. I can you know give you his phone number. Tell this, uh, my buddy tell Chris this woman to go it. down... Oh, tell this woman to down oh, yeah, dog awesome. her fucking... Face to the Wait, fucking Chris is floor. Me, Chris, well, Tell her to Chris down Jesus. dog her fucking face <laughs> to the fucking I don't, floor. I don't feel Chris comfortable. Is, you know, I don't no, feel you say it. You say take. Uh, you Chris go, says that my you, buddy Chris, who I'm doing the podcast with, says you take your face into the downward dog on the floor. <laughs> yeah, all right. Just get her off. Oh, my. Yeah, yeah, get her off. I gotta get go. her off. Get her off. I gotta go. I gotta hang you know, up on I you play now. I don't want your services. I okay, great. I play I play all I'm sorry. I gotta put my phone on. Yeah, put it on speakerphone. I play, I'm a nice guy, but when you start bullying someone, when I, I could sense someone's getting bullied, my yeah. inner Hulk comes out. She was out. bullying me. Yeah, she I was bullying like you into going and threatening yourself. I'm not going to go and do yoga and then worry that I have the COVID. Yeah. Um, hey, Chris, what? let's play a new game where you guess uh, the music for uh, these popular shows, okay? Whoa, I'm you've gonna... got like a whole like theme. Yeah, what I'm am over I... here trying to entertain people. You're what? just like zip zapping about your fucking cheese habit okay here we go I, I don't have a fucking cheese habit here we go you got a secret cheese habit okay you guess this one facts of life facts of life do you i'll let you listen to it one more time hit Is this a step by step? Oh, you fail. Full House. Oh, Jesus. full. I, I never saw God. that show. What? 
Next, 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 next one. I want to go. Next one. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the story uh, of a lovely lady. Law and Order. <laughs> no, you're being stupid now. What are you talking about? What what is the that? fucking name of the show is in the song? Listen. Up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold. I love Lucy. Like them I, oh my god. What? It's what Were is you it? dropped on your head? No, what 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 is it? Mother, the youngest one in Let me fast forward, hold on. Here we go. This is the title of the song. The title of the show. Fuck. I never saw the Brady Bunch. I never saw that show. Never watched it. I forgot you're fucking Canadian. Okay, here we go. This is uh, one more. Come on, Chris. I'm rooting for you. Rooting for you. ER. Is it ER? ER? God, no. It's CSI Miami extended intro theme. Okay, uh, last one. Last right. one. You fucking have three for three failure. Here we go. Last one. Uh, oh, Welcome I got it. I got it. I got it. Westworld. Westworld. It's Westworld. Uh, you're just stupid. What? What are you talking about? That was our show. You don't even know the fucking intro to our show. Uh, Poor I don't, Charlie. I, I don't listen to the show ever. I'm done with you. I I'm don't, done. I don't listen to the show. I record. I am I, you done. know what I do? I record the show and then I go on with my life. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then guess who edits it? Me. Here's a, here's the last one. Here's the last one. You better fucking get this one right. Chris? Um. <laughs> Come on. Oh, fucking, it's a cartoon. Rocco's Modern Life. Uh, no. That was just some turtles having sex. <laughs> okay. We're going to call Let's up our guest first on. guest. <laughs> uh, this is my good friend. Hopefully he picks up his fucking phone. Uh, it's, What's uh, his name? We got Chris Farron, uh, musician extraordinaire. Uh, he's going to come on the podcast. He lives out here in Los Angeles. I've known him for a long time. He plays music with Antarctica Vespucci and, of course, the Chris Farron Experience, which is his live show. Uh, we are going to see if this mofo picks up because uh, he is a big time. Oh, here we go. Hello. Chris Farron. Welcome to the podcast. Yeah, baby. Yes, baby. Hold on, one yeah, we're holding. Um what do you got going on over there? Hold on one second. Well, give me one second. Let me try to Hold. use my headphones. Holding. Oh, yeah, that, there we go. Now we're in business. All right. We're got, you got your AirPods in or your um, wireless? My beautiful, my beautiful Bose Bluetooth noise-canceling headphones. Oh, that's perfect for a podcast. You've got uh, my buddy Rick. I think you've met Rick uh, when you came into the show at the comedy space, the Boom Boom Room. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. He's on the other line. You can't hear him. He can hear you. I always say that just because I like including my friend, dude. Chris, what is going on with you right now? Tell me everything. Oh, I want to. I want to do tell of your beautiful baby life going on in your part of the city. What I've been up to. I've been doing a lot of painting. Yeah. You know, and I go to the mall, and I go to the grocery store, and I've been getting a lot of elective dental surgery. <laughs> Um, We're, I'm, Chris, you can't do that, that stuff. You can't. You can't go and get dental surgery right now. I, everybody keeps saying that, but I, I go and every they let me do it. What have you gotten done? Did, I, did, did you go get a teeth cleaning? What did you? What have you gotten done? I get the teeth cleaned. I have them pop them out and pop them back in just to make sure they're in there as good as they can be. <laughs> Okay, that doesn't sound like a thing you could do during uh, this pandemic. You you go to the mall. Them, I'm sorry, I you get, go to the mall. I get them blackened and then I get them whitened. That just seems like unnecessary work. I mean, how many are you using? A lot of face masks. Uh, I have all the uh, the N95s here at the house. Um, yeah, and I 
I put them on my elbows and my knees when I go rollerblading just for a little added cushion. That just sounds um, – oh, that's such a waste of really good um, – M95 masks. I'm well. Look, I'm glad you're safe. Um, Thank you. But what what are you doing at the mall? What's going on at the mall? I, I heard they're all closed. Oh, I'm shopping, of course. Yeah, I need. I I have all these. I'm doing galas now. I've been going to a lot of galas. Uh, what galas? Like, like, there are no galas going on right now. Everything's shut down. They just closed a party down. Uh, no, up- not. Not the not the not the stuff I'm up to. Um, maybe I'm just a part of a, a more elite class or something that, that you that doesn't touch your world, which is fine. Hey, no judgment. I, um, I guess you're right. I I, I guess I'm just uh, I'm I'm in a, 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 a social group that just isn't anywhere near yours. I, I, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm That's okay. I guess I'm glad that you're you're enjoying yourself during this very trying time. <laughs> Um, Thank you. <laughs> what, what have you been painting? I know I've seen online that you've been doing paintings. Um, what's been going I on? Just, I've just been painting, painting animals smoking cigarettes. That is literally <laughs> that is a true thing for sure. <laughs> They're very good, actually. I've seen them. Uh, and are you selling them or are they just piling yeah. up on a desk? No, They're, I've been selling them, yeah. Yeah, because that um, – they're very good. How much are you selling uh, the paintings for, if you don't mind me asking? Or are they? I sell them. I sell them for a hundred dollars. Okay, hundred dollars gets you a Chris Farren painting. They're very good. Thank um, you. The dolphin smoking the cigarette was that one I saw. Is that true? Yeah, I think I did a dolphin. Yeah. Yeah, I think you did too. <laughs> that was very. <laughs> I, I did enjoy that quite a bit, but but how has everything been going on? I mean, we've 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 talked to a bunch of musicians on the show, um, and how are you? You just did you just tour, or or were you about to go on tour? What's what's? No, luckily, luckily, I had just wrapped up a whole bunch of touring, like pretty intensive uh, headline touring. So I very fortunately, I had like gotten like a lot of. So I, I I was basically on tour from like the beginning of January until right up until you couldn't be on tour anymore. And so to those who don't know, in our podcast world, the record he put out is called "Born Hot." That's uh, right. I don't know how you couldn't have heard about it because it was <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, but the, baby. now um, I have actually always wanted to ask you this. So. Um, so you did all the touring for that, and then just to not completely leave that conversation. So now you're kind of wrapped up, and you're just um, h- kind of hanging out. Do you feel like anxiety to get back on the road, or are you feeling good at the I, moment? I, I mean, you know, I think obviously I feel anxiety to to get back doing that kind of thing, but I th- I think I actually feel less anxiety than I normally do because most of the time my anxiety to get back on the road is like jealousy and, and, and envy and Instagram looking at other people enjoying themselves. Sure. Um, and that's not happening anymore. So, you know, I think in, in many different ways, a lot of people have said this, uh, that there is, there's some, there's some like some level of kind of peace that I feel knowing that everybody is going through a kind of a, a very weird whatever time. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I could definitely second that. It's like uh, there's nothing going on work-wise for a lot of industries. So it's just like, yeah. I guess we're all just like hanging and uh, cooking. Are you cooking at all? That's what I want to know. I'm not cooking. My wife has been cooking a lot. So I've been, I think I, I spend around eight hours a day cleaning the kitchen. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Uh, but so, but it's a, it's a worthy trait because she's now, a great cook. Now, um, you had a billboard on Sunset Boulevard for how many months? Just a month. It was just a month. Okay, so um, what was the what was the the mental capacity, the process to get that together? Were you just like, did you kind of see that out? Because I feel like a lot you're really good with your. Uh, presence and such uh, was that just an idea that you had, or um, I mean, give me the play-by-play on that one. Okay, so so with my record label, when we were like planning out the the album cycle and everything, we would get together every week, like on a on a Zoom call or a Skype call. We called them Skype calls back then, <laughs> um, and 
Uh, it was kind of something that like came up. I don't remember who brought it up. I, I kind of doubt it was me that brought it up because I feel like I've thought of billboards in the past and then kind of just it never like in previous bands or whatever like it just kind of never went anywhere and people kind of convinced me that it was a was not a good idea but somebody at polyvinyl brought it up and was like maybe we could do that and and then once once like the idea was kind of like a possibility that's when my mind started to kind of to reel and think like oh what could we actually do and like and then that's how like the idea for the phone number came out because there was like a phone number attached yes to the, the born phone. hot hotline <laughs> yeah that's right and uh yeah and then people could just call that and it would be basically be like a kind of like a pretty much just you got put on hold as soon as you called the number <laughs> <laughs> and then just nothing ever happened but like there was like some like hidden like uh, options in the number that you could find and like a few different little funny bits we threw in there. Um, oh, you're so good at the funny bits. That's what I love about thank you. you. Thank you so much. But yeah, with the billboard, like I, I, I it was never my intention and, and it, it definitely, the billboard played out exactly as I, <laughs> as I, as I expected it to, because I never thought, and nobody getting a billboard should ever think, if you get a billboard, more people will find out about you. Like people, you, I mean, you, we live in LA, there's billboards everywhere. Have you ever found out about anything from a billboard? <laughs> it's no, I, I, no. I, it's surprisingly easy to get a billboard is, is I guess where I was getting at it. Like I, I, yeah. I, 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 it was, it's, it, I mean, Hey, bumper to bumper, we should get a billboard. Uh, they're, hey. they're easier, <laughs> they're easier to said than done. I mean, no, they're easier done than said. Cause it's hard to say I got to get a billboard cause we have low self esteem. Um, <laughs> no, um, well, I wanted to just ask real quick, too, because um, uh, we keep the interviews kind of short on this one, but we'd love to get you in the car when we're all able to drive around and do a little bit of a longer uh, interview. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, so you said on the phone the other night you've been watching a lot of movies. Uh, if you're recommending a few new films, if you're in quarantine, give me one of your top two picks. Oh, my God. Gosh, top two picks. Or just two, you'd say, hey, kid, you're bored. You look like you got a mouthful of soap. Watch this. It'll make you feel better. What do you got? Okay, I really like Mandy. Okay. Mandy is kind of like a, I wouldn't even really call it a horror movie. It's just like a weird, fucked up, trippy movie that Nicolas Cage is in. Um, that came out pretty recently. Uh, right. And, oh, gosh. What else is there? Let me just ask There's... this question then. Frozen 2. I know you're a big fan of Frozen 1. What do you think of Frozen 2? I, I think Frozen 2 is a pile of shit. <laughs> I really didn't like it. They released it early, didn't they? Uh, I, I mean, they they released it on, you know, on uh, right. streaming early, but it came out, yeah. I saw oh, it okay. in the theaters. It was uh, pretty, pretty much the biggest... Uh, the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Oh my god, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, Chris, man, thanks for coming on the show for a little bit and, and catching up with us. I'm glad to know that you're still keeping up that heavy, busy social cycle. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. No worries, man. Take care. Thank you. All right. See ya. Take bye. It, bye. Oh my god, Chris Farron. Chris Farron. Rick? I uh, one time... Uh... I did have a billboard tell me something. I was in um, I was in Florida, and I looked up, and this billboard uh, told me that I was going to hell if I didn't repent. And, really? You know, I didn't I didn't know what that meant, but Dude, I we... have a feeling that I might have a flashback to that billboard at the moment when I my last breath goes because of COVID. Dude, I'm gonna get us a billboard. I know how to do it. People, yeah? I know how to do it. We're gonna get a fucking can it, billboard. Can the billboard say? You're going to hell? No. Unless you why tune would into I... Bumper to Bumper <laughs> on Apple Podcasts. That would be a great billboard. It would be a really great billboard. It would be you really – it'd be good for us. It would be very I'm gonna good miss, for us. I'm going to miss – What are you going to miss? I'm going to miss co- – I'm going to miss quarantine. You're going to miss – When everything goes back – when everything goes back to normal and we have to go get fucking jobs again and everyone's just going to elections and carrying on, I'm going to miss these times. 
I want this fucking quarantine to last forever. At the beginning of the show, you were all bummed about quarantine. Now you want it to last forever? Now I'm bummed about it opening up. I want to just chill out (laughs) in my bed all the time. I want to get to that. No one telling me what to do. I want to get to that job of the hut level. Go ahead. He he brought up a good point, and it was like the, the feeling of peace that he gets when knowing that everyone's going through this weird time together. And yeah. there's something, that's what I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss the... Um, solidarity of it all. The solidarity and the connection that we all have to this moment. So just everyone, you know, we're going to get out of this. It's yeah. going to happen. And uh, just enjoy these moments because this will never happen in our lifetime ever again. This is a nice time. But it's not nice if you don't have any money and you're dying, but right now... Do I get to replay I this to... part of the show when we're doing the next quarantine version of the show? In, in the fall when it comes back? In the fall when it comes back. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going like, I can't do this anymore. Or, I'm losing or, my fucking or, mind right now. Or when, when we have to do this because like the global warming thing is going to speed up yeah. so fast, and it's like, yeah, it's uh, day 94 of rain... <laughs> <laughs> LA had uh, one of the clearest days, like one of the, they, did you hear this about a week ago? Like for a major city, LA was number one, had the least amount of pollution, which is crazy because yeah, this is such a, it this, is. this podcast was birthed out, of, out polluting. of the idea of being in traffic. This was a very pollutant show. We would, you know, piss away uh, yeah. maybe a couple gallons of gasoline doing the show yeah pissing it away into the beautiful air adding to the you know, well you know to... it's funny because the show started this is a little behind the scenes but the show started out of our long phone conversations we would have stuck in traffic oh, oh i'm sorry hold on one second God damn i, got another phone I call. have a good point and then i don't I'll... care about your point i got a what? phone call i'm sorry you don't care Just, about uh, please this is important hold all on all right well when i'm on conan o'brien Jeez. don't forget to mention your name then what hey hello <laughs> who's this hey hey rick Hi, who, who this is, is this? Dr. This is Dr. Hoppenberg. Oh, doctor, how um, are you? I'm doing good. So, um, yeah, I told you I'd give you a follow-up call. And upon uh, further examination, this uh, this monster energy in your bloodstream, well, your system has been responding. It seems it responds really well to it. And oh. You're actually, like, perfectly normal and healthy. And um, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's been that's serving a, you well. So I, awesome. I would highly advise you continue doing whatever you're doing. Do I have to still, now, do um, I have to still stay in quarantine? Um, I would recommend still staying in quarantine, but, um, but just keep doing what you've been doing. See, the, the thing is I was calling about your buddy, Chris, Oh. um, that, that blood sample that you, uh, you got from him. Well, we've been doing, um, some more paperwork oh, no. and, um, it appears he drinks Red Bull. Yes, he does. I do. And, yeah. Uh, it's doing some weird, uh, almost mutating his, his oh, blood. Oh no! Weird. Oh, and no. His DNA. Um, and he's actually turning into a little slime bug. What? <laughs> what? A tiny what? little slime bug that feeds on dead produce. Uh, is I'm guessing he's a vegetarian. He is a vegetarian. <laughs> oh no! What? Oh, God, what a moron. What? Um. Well, yeah. This uh, this combination of Red Bull and. Uh, the vegetarian diet is absolutely uh, destroying his human form and turning him into this tiny, tiny little slimy snail-like bug. Do you and, think that um, if he switches yeah. and goes to a, do you think if he switches and goes to a meat-based monster energy drink diet, this could reverse the effects, or I is he fucked? Fuck- probably, I think if there's, I mean, he's already gone so far deep in the hole that that's really only going to be his only hope, but I'm not making any guarantees. That's just the best shot he's got. But hey, I'm about to tee off, so I'm going to have to call he's you. teeing oh, off? Yeah, hey, no problem. Yeah, I would, uh, I would definitely get on him about that. Wait. And I'll talk to you soon, Rick. Keep Thank you, doctor. Again. Appreciate it. Great. Thank you. Well, All right. Bye-bye. What was the name I love of that guy? Who is your doctor again? Um, Don't worry about it. No, no, no. It's my I, guy. What was no, his... it's my guy, dude. I'm not. Don't worry about it. No, because. It's my I, guy. Oh, no, it's fine. I, I just worry for your health because. There's been. Um, hey, did it's we, he's with Kaiser. Okay, have you heard of Kaiser? Yeah, a little no, company I, called Kaiser. I've, I've heard of Kaiser, but yeah. I, I was yeah, reading. I was reading something this morning on HuffPo, and um, there supposedly is. <laughs> Huff there's a rampant amount of mentally ill homeless people pretending to be doctors, 
And no, this is definitely the, no, my doctor. I went in no, there. He I grabbed know. my balls. He yeah. had a white lab coat on. They do. He touched my they, balls. No, he they made know. me cough. Yeah, yeah they do. They no, know I went they to do. I went to Kaiser. I, I, had, I had to validate my parking. I'm I sure there are homeless people like your doctor pretending to be a doctor but oh, I, my, I, no, mine's I, a legit doctor I, you I better get your shit checked out it sounds like you're not dealing with the seven stages of grief and one of them is denial and you're in denial right now I, so your uh, blood you're gonna turn into a slimy little bl bug you heard him no it's okay it's okay everyone i just want you're you not to even asking you're not even wondering how i even got your blood and you're worried about that I just want everyone to know I know how you got my blood because you're like kind of a conspiracy theorist and you probably did it in a weird conspiracy theorist type way. So I wouldn't have known that you got my blood. But I just, you know, all the how people dare check. You call me a conspiracy sh check, theorist. <laughs> check Rick's Instagram history. Just see what kind of stuff he was into about three years ago and then maybe see what? if that lines <laughs> up to what he's into right now in the doctors he's associating himself with. I didn't say wow. it. I'm just, I, wow, I, I, I just. Hey, it sounds like you're stressed. It sounds like you need a little meditation before we wrap this up. Look, I do need a meditation. Yeah, I, yeah you do. I, I, you're really, you're straight. You want to do a meditation? Yeah, can we just wrap out the show with a meditation? Because I'd like to really Yeah, let's wrap. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's, we'll bring up the meditation music. Okay. I love this song, this flute. So Oof, get into a nice little comfortable yeah, position. Lie down if you Thank can. Thank you. I am. Yeah. Okay, Thank great. You. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little different here. I am going to... I'm going to pitch shift your voice up. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, no we're going to go a little higher. Whoa, 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 okay. This That's cool. good, right there. So yeah. this is your voice now. Good. And then we're going to take my voice and we're going to pitch shift it down. Whoa, wait, wow. This is lower, lower, lower. This oh is perfect. This is this, okay, please, hold on one second. Okay. All right, we have our new voices, our new ooh. assumed identity. What I want you to do... Yeah. Is I want you to close your eyes. I'm closing them. And you're going to exhale on the count of three. Three, two, one. <laughs> and then you're going to take a... There you go. You're going to take a giant inhale. And as you're inhaling, you are going to slowly descend through... What are you sitting on? A couch? Or a bed? I'm just sitting on my chair, yeah. Okay, you're going to go slowly through your chair... Mm -hmm. Are you on the second floor or the first floor of your apartment? Second floor. Okay, you're going to go through the first floor. You're descending deeper. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. You're going to go through. You're going to see your neighbors. Hello, neighbors. Hello. They're having sex on the couch. Oh my God. Uh, they Whoa. can't see you, though, because oh. it's your astral body. Oh, okay. So you're going to go through the floorboards, and you're going to go through the foundation. All right, all right. And you're going to keep falling, and you're going to begin accelerating as you descend. Uh -huh. You're going through the, the crust, the Earth's mantle. Oh, my the God. The top all crust. Right. Okay. Yes, it feels cool to the touch. Yeah, it you're does. You're getting close. You're getting into the middle crust, the cheesy crust, the ricotta cheese what? of Earth crust. What is this, Elizabeth? As you go further, you're in the, you're in the lower crust now, getting... Okay. It's starting to warm up a little bit. Whoa, it's hot. It's starting to get a little hot. What is this, the Earth's you core or something? It's go into the core and you are in my domain now. What? You are in hell with me what? now. What? No, you I don't want to be in hell. I am the devil. I don't know. You are here with no. me now. No, I don't want to be in This is why I brought you and you read that billboard no. and I brought you here. And I don't... You are with me now. No. And this is your new home. No. So enjoy it. No. Rick, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, no, no, no. Oh, I don't like that. I didn't like that one. I didn't like that one at all. That was scary. Okay, whatever. All right, let's get that fucking flutey Charlie Scoville music in here. Oh, yeah, that's what oh, I'm talking I about. I love that Something music. Something we know and love. You love that. I love and, that music. You know, Thank I hope you enjoyed. This was Bumper to Bumper, Fully Parked. Bumper to Episode parked. who fucking knows. <laughs> uh, episode who fucking cares. And I will say that I uh, love doing the show. Uh, we're going to be back. Every other day, we take weekends off. You know why? Because we're busy, and we like to relax. We're busy, and we're getting real tired, you know? A little And cold. shout out to Red Bull. I'm, whoa! Whoa! See? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, I, that was weird. I feel like you were controlling me. Maybe, maybe I was. What the? We'll see you all next week. This was uh, episode of Bumper to next Bumper. Next week. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're doing this weekly? Or... See you on the next, next episode one. of Bumper to Bumper, the next one. <laughs> See you on the next one. See you on the, on the next one. All right, everyone. Have a great one. Talk soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.